Greetings, YouTube. What do we have here? Some single action goodness. Well, a couple of these I've looked at already. This is the Uberti 7th Cavalry. <clears throat> and this is the artillery model from Pieta. Ones I haven't shown you before. This is the 7th Cavalry Scout. Um, it's in nickel finish. Basically the same gun as this one. Pretty good. But what we're going to talk about today is if you saw my video on the Pieta uh, artillery, you'll know I was pretty disappointed in it. Just in the overall fit and finish and all of that. So picked up the Uberti version of it. And I want to kind of compare them today, but kind of mostly talk about this one. Um, and then just talk about some of the differences between the two. All right, let's get into it. All right, this is the Cimarron Artillery USV, which is United States Volunteer um, pistol. It's five and a half inch barrel, black powder frame. And um, this was issued to the Rough Riders. Um, that's so the, so the history of it. Um, this one has the patent dates on it, has the U.S. stamp, 45 caliber, although you're, it's hard to see, that's actually stamped in there. Partial serial number on the cylinder, um, artillery or inspection markings all over it. Um, this was inspected by Ronaldo A. Carr, unlike, uh, Oliver Ainsworth and the 7th Cavalry. This one has the stamp here for him. This one has the serial number on the butt, has his initials here. But the weird thing about this one is the cartouche is on the right grip, which is, I don't know if that's a mistake, uh, because on the Pieta it's on the left, and on the Seventh Cavalry versions it's all on the left. So I'm not sure if that's a mistake with this gun, or if that's how they make these, or whatever, but is what it is. <clears throat> this is in 45 Colt. A couple things of note, and we talked about the Pieta extensively, so I'm not going to go too much into it, um, other than to say this one was made in 2019, according to the stamp under here. I've already had this apart. I've already cleaned it. Um, the machining inside of this thing is amazing. There were no burrs. It was smooth. Um, I didn't have to do anything to it. Well, other than I changed the, uh, the main spring and I changed the trigger spring to wolf, um, just to lighten it up a little bit. Um, but it is a four click hammer. So this is the Uberti. It's a four click. So one, two, three, four. And, um, has the floating firing pin. There's no safety mechanism that make, you know, that Uberti's doing now. So that's good. Has, um. The narrower sights. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see with this camera, but um, decent laser engraving for the hammer spur checkering there. Um, I like I like this uh, cold uh, the, this um, case hardened color. It's it's very muted compared to some of my other ones. It's it's lots of golds and browns, some pinks. Um, it's very muted. It's kind of hard to pick up on here, but um, there are some blues and things like that, but it's it's a very muted color, and uh, it's very different from the Pieta, which just isn't as good a job. I mean, this is, I don't know. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm not real impressed with this one. But, <clears throat> so, major differences. Well, they're both five and a half inch barrel. They both represent the same gun in history. Um... So we'll just kind of start uh, with the grips and go from there. This has the typical Uberti um, shiny gloss grip. This one has the more satin, darker finish. I actually like this color and feel better. Um, it's got this this cartouche for Ronaldo Carr is burned into it, whereas this one is on the other side and stamped into it. So, I like these grips better. This is actually more attractive to me. But, um, 
color case hardening on the Pieta is so-so. The uh, markings are obviously laser engraved and very clean. Um, there are fewer markings on the cylinder. Like, I don't think, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like the, uh, the serial, the partial serial number, like what have been on these guns originally is not on the Pieta. And it is, and there's actually run a little a car again. So stamped on here. And it's got the partial serial number on there. So hammers are similar in construction. Um, <clears throat> I will give the Pieta this. The action on this gun is a lot lighter than this one. The hammer pull is heavier on, on the Uberti. The trigger pull is heavier on the Uberti. Um, but that being said, this one was definitely not smooth when I got it. And if you recall my earlier video, I had to do a lot of stoning polishing and deburring and stuff in here inside of it to get it smooth. Now it's it, the action's great on this one, um, but it took some work. And all right, we'll just continue on here. Um, we'll we'll take it apart and kind of look at the cylinder differences and stuff too. Um, this one just has just blued screws. Now, if you remember in my other video, I had a thumb screw. It didn't come with the proper one. Uh, it does have the proper one now. Um, I had to call Cimarron, and they had to find it because it's not a stocked part. They did have some. They sent me one, so I'm happy with that. Um, this was very rough. This ejector was very rough, and it's smooth now because I had to stone and polish and all that stuff inside of here to get that to work really well. And on this one... Obviously, this one came with the proper screw, and these are fire blued screws. I don't know if you can tell it in the video. They just look a little nicer. Um, and it has the proper screw that came with it, along with the thumb, the thumb screw. So, and this is very, very smooth, just like the 7th Cavalry was. So, um, you know, you birdie just, their fit and finish is just so much better. My front sight is actually the same color as the barrel, unlike the Pieta, which is unfinished. And I haven't gotten to that yet, and I don't know if I will. Um, we'll see. It doesn't hurt anything to be unblued. It just looks goofy. So <clears throat> that are some of the main differences between these two. And we can kind of take it apart and uh, look at the cylinders and pins and all that kind of stuff. Okay, cylinder's out. Um, the cylinder on the Uberti, like I said, it's got... A lot more markings on it so it's got the initials of the uh of Ronaldo car who inspected all of these it's got the partial serial number the arsenal marking more arsenal markings so and then of course the import stamps so and then of course the bushing for the cylinder pin is removable um the i said in the previous video that the one in the cavalry was not and i was incorrect it was just really in there good. A couple firings, a couple cleanings, and it's come out. This is the cylinder pin itself. It has got it beveled all the way around with the double bevel for the safety that they that they use and employ. And it's just blued. All right. As far as machining and the uh, recoil plate area, a little rough. You got that ledge there where the headspace gets tighter. Um, it doesn't matter that it is as long as everything cycles fine and uh, the cylinder turns. So, like I said, I had this apart. It was very clean inside and it was, um, I mean, it didn't require any work at all whatsoever. On the Pieta, we've looked at this one already. Um, other than the obvious finished stuff, the cylinder, obviously I fired this gun and I couldn't get all that off. But anyway, um, this pin is fixed. It's actually not even a pin. It's just there. So that bushing isn't really a bushing. It's just machined into the thing, into the cylinder. Markings are, there's an arsenal marking. There's one import stamp. And that's it. Nothing, nothing else. No, uh, Ronaldo A car, no nothing. So not quite the same. Um, and then of course this is the Pieta 
cylinder pin that's only partially beveled. It's more of a pain in the butt to get in and get it set, um, but it works for so uh, machining and stuff on the back of this one. Um, it's actually a little smoother. Um, you can still see the machine marks. It is not near as smooth as say like my standard or anything like that, but and this one has the uh, this little plate here that's staked in there. Um, I think that's kind of cool that they do that. Um, I don't believe that is a machine trick. I think that's actually a plate that is staked in there like they would have done it in the old days. Now, Pieta goes to that kind of effort to do this where Uberti does not. Um, but they really are lackluster in the rest of it. Like I said, the case hardening is okay. Not great. I've seen better. Um, the top straps of both of these guns are very different. Like this has a very long sight channel before you get to this main groove. It just kind of falls off here. It is... Not quite. It's pretty even there. Um, this one is like the 7th Cavalry where this kind of main scalp goes all the way back to you just have this slight groove and also very even side to side. So, all right. And then, of course, you know, I did work on this, but it has the bullseye ejector housing both of them do this is the this one's so much easier just lighter smoother even after polishing this one it's still kind of still kind of stiff so those are the main differences in pieta and the uberti here's the frame disassembled and you look inside of there man it's clean it looks really good i'm not gonna have to do anything to that i don't think <clears throat> a little rough here. That's typical. Um, yeah. And this one was made in 2019. And it still has the four clicks. So I'm not sure when they're switching it. Oh, and I did replace the screw. Came with the thumb screw. I put the proper one in there. Other pieces. You get the cylinder. In and out, the base pin or the uh, cylinder pin is removable. This one came right out on my seventh cab, it did not, and on the Pieta version of it, it does not. Still, the cavalry one does now. Uh, replacing the hammer spring with a wolf just to lighten it up. There's the little pieces, parts, little spring and pin that hold the hand in. Here's the, the bolt and sear and all that stuff. The pin it rides on, trigger. New trigger spring. Here is the trigger guard assembly, and you can see that it is a cast piece. Parts that aren't finished or parts you don't see, but it's cast. And then the grip assembly. I'm trying not to lose my screws. Well fit. There's one little nick that was right there. And the cartouche is on the other side of this one, which is kind of weird, but oh well. I don't know if that's a mistake from you, Birdie, or if that's how these work. And just the little screws and pieces, parts. I'm going to put it back together, and we'll look at it. All right, so how does it, how does it shoot out these? Both loaded with snap caps. Um, hammer pull back with the new spring in it anyway. Uh, with the old spring, it was a little stiffer. Uh, it's pretty nice. Trigger pull, a little heavy, but not bad. I mean, it's not bad at all. Overall, very happy with how that works. So, um, so that's the Uberti, and of course the Pieta, which you know I've done extensive work to. Um, very easy to pull back. Very light trigger. So, the difference in price, at least when I bought them, uh, was about thirty dollars. And the Uberti being more expensive. So what does that $30 get you? Well, I think it gets you a hell of a lot better gun. Um, this one didn't require any 
real work to make it smooth and make it nice. I change the springs, but I do that to most of them. Um, I find the Uberti uh, mainspring and whatnot to be a little heavy. Um, fit and finish is just, this is a prettier gun. It's It's got better case hardening. It's got better bluing. It's all the parts are blued. Um, it's got a, it's got more realistic and accurate markings, uh, for what this gun is supposed to represent. Um, the things that I do like about the Pieta a little better, um, I do like the color of the grips, although the fit of the grips is not as good. There are some pretty good gaps and whatnot in here where it's just kind of like, you know, you can tell they didn't take their time and do their best work fitting this thing together. Um, and then of course they missed the bluing here and just the inside machining fit and finish. It's like they just didn't finish it. They just kind of said, okay, it's good enough. We'll put it in a box and send it on. Um, so will I get rid of this? Probably not um, because I've done some work to it and it does work. Uh, this might be a, a test gun for new loads and stuff. So if I don't intend to ever blow one of these up, but if I did, I'd rather be this one than one of my other ones. So um, um, I have shot this one quite a bit. I have yet to shoot this one, but if it shoots anything like my 7th Cavalry, it's going to be great. I've shot the 7th Cavalry quite a bit. So um, yeah, so that's the difference. I just wanted to show you. Um, oh, well, the other thing too, if you're ordering, at least from Buds, and I think it's just the Cimarron thing, um, this one, they both have the same model number with a different prefix. So they're both 51300. This one is PP51300 for the Pieta. The Uberti is CA51300. So there is a difference. When I looked at it, I didn't know. I mean, I was I was just wanting, you know, one of these guns, and I didn't realize that there was a difference that you could get either or Pieta or Uberti. And um, so I picked the cheaper one. Because sometimes Buds will have two of the same gun up, and one will be at a different price than another because just the way their distributorship works. So I thought, well, cool, I can save 30 bucks. I'm going to save 30 bucks. What I should have done is my homework and realized that the model prefixes were different and one was the Uberti, which is what I wanted, and one was the Pieta. So just um, keep that in mind if you're going to look for one of these. Uh, and the only reason I'm doing so many videos on these guns is um, while there are a lot of videos on YouTube about uh, single action army, clones, Pieta, Uberti, standard, whatever, um, there aren't a lot on this particular model. And as I'm doing my research, you know, I can save somebody else from making a mistake like they really want the four click hammer and they don't want to spend you know two thousand dollars on a on a standard or a colt um you can still get a new one from your birdie at least as of march of 2020 um with a four click hammer you just got to get if you want a five and a half inch barrel you got to get the artillery model if you want a seven and a half inch barrel you got to get seven cavalry model um as you know if you don't mind have to do a little extra work and you don't mind that it's not as pretty or as well finished to the gun, you can save 30 bucks and get the Pieta. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for this one. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, have a good one.